Hey Grandma, how's it going? Um, I thought I'd show you my um, my setup uh, here in Thailand. Uh, having a jolly good old time. So I'll show you outside first. Uh, this is my little cabin for two weeks. Going inside, flippy floppies. Um, here's where I've been doing um, uh, my writing. Um, broken glasses. Ordered a new pair in Chiang Mai, in a different city. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for them to be uh, to be made. Um, so here's the room. Two beds, because why not? Uh, this one is doubling as my as my desk. Um, yeah, so it's um, it's like kind of basic, but just beautiful at the same time. A little few things. Here's the bathroom. Oh, put the seat down. We've got company. Um, yeah. Um, so I've been been working a lot on my on my writing. Um, and here's the view. That's where I've been spending pretty much uh, every day working on it. Ah, oh, there's a Buddha out there, isn't there? Can you see that? I wonder, I wonder. I might go see if I can find that Buddha. Um, let me put some pants on. I'll bring it with me, why not? I think I know, I think I know where to, where to go. I remember seeing a thing up that way, like an entrance. Um, so, I'll see. If that's what I think it is, um, I might record with my GoPro. That will be easier. Transferring. I wish I had one of those straps to put the GoPro on right now. Or even a selfie stick would help. Almost on clear road, on flat road. For, uh, for food right there.
enlightenment. Holy shit, look at all those stairs. I wasn't prepared for this shit. <laughs> what if I found Jim Carrey at the top of here? Real life meets fiction. He's med because he's like that these days, he's into his meditation. But, he but he's straight out of Ace Ventura too. He had the butterflies around him and tigers. stop to look at these. Give me a rest. Why is everything a Jim Carrey reference with me? Using the ramp. Alright, looks like I could have brought my scooter all the way up here. Jesus. So unfit. Been writing every day. I've been exercising every day. I bet he walked to the top of the stairs and just thought, fuck it. Staying here, sitting down. Lazy. Shouldn't have come here this time. It is hot. So, hang on. Spin the camera around. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's him. Uh, the Buddha. The lazy one. I'm just gonna sit down forever. You don't wanna like do any work. No, nah, no, nah, sitting here under this tree. I have been meditating myself, actually. Uh, I find it very hard because I'm uh, very distractible. Easily, easily distracted. Um, yeah, oftentimes I'll finish a meditation session and just have like a list of 10 things that I want to Google, you know? You know, I'll be breathing in, in through the nostrils, out through the nostrils. 
Um, why do all old women wear the same perfume? Yeah, no, 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 in through the nose, out through the nose. Ugh, cucumbers. Ugh, cucumbers though. <laughs> I mean, they're just hard water, aren't they? Waste my time with a cucumber. In through the nose, out through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. I wonder why, I wonder if it's intentional that the word window has the word wind in it. In through the nose, out through the nose. Must look that up. Etymology of the word window. Uh, wind, ow. The first per in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose. When did the first person who invented the very first window? He put it up and the wind was screaming around, howling through the trees. Woo! Like a drunk backpacker in Thailand. This is my song! Woo! Follow the sun. Xavier's Follow the Sun is often echoing through the trees of northern Thailand. And then the wind smashed into the window and went, ow! And then the guy went, I shall name it Window. In through the nose, out through the nose. It's important, I think, uh, to keep going with this. Uh, I like the idea that every time you notice yourself lost in breath, and you go back to the breath, it's like a bicep curl. I ain't doing many of those really, so uh, one for the mind. That's all I'm doing. Um, yeah, every time you catch yourself, every breath almost, every breath that you're mindful is, uh, is a little bicep curl for your brain. I did go to um, a 10 day uh, meditation retreat of Vipassana 10 day. It was very, very intense, it was very difficult. It was like a, it was a boot camp uh, for my mind. Um, and, um, but by the end of it, like, if you are consistent and disciplined, man, I was, I was a different person by the end of it. I was so, so, um, ah, oh, just content, very calm. Um, I saw thoughts for what they were, um, which my understanding at the time was that I wasn't really controlling the thoughts. Um, they, they appear in the mind and then you can choose to author them kind of thing or not um, and being consistent with meditation can kind of help you realize that um, there is no thinker only thoughts that kind of thing but you know you've got to be disciplined I didn't carry on afterwards and cut to two years later and I'm shouting at the radio in the car because the guy on the on the, the pie advert is eating really loudly while he's talking on the advert. Oh, if there's anything I hate more than it's someone eating really loudly, especially if they're talking while they're eating, especially if that is on the radio. I mean, it's just in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose. All right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. I wish I was a slinky and I could throw myself down these stairs now.